What the hell is that? Right before I get back to my house, a tree branch went right through my thermostatic mountain hardware jacket. Right there. Okay, so in the world of gear repair, basically what we have here is nylon that's ripped. You go out and get some tenacious tape. Okay, here's the tenacious tape. And tenacious tape, it comes in clear, which is kind of like scotch tape, and it works great. It works fine. But in the washing machine, the edges will pull up. So this time what I did was I decided to go with uh, nylon. They've got a bunch of different colors of nylon tape, which are strong. It's like 20 or maybe even 40D nylon. The ripped nylon, this is like 10D. But I think that the black goes okay with the maroon. Okay, so I chose black. And basically to prevent the uh, edges from coming up, you can put seam seal on there. But what I was told at REI by one of the senior salesmen is that clear nail polish will work just as good. It's the same thing. This cost a buck fifty. It's called Wet n Wild. There was another choice called Paparazzi, and the Paparazzi was more liquidy. And so I just decided that you know if I put this stuff on the jacket and it doesn't work because it was it did it was didn't have enough glue in it or something, then I'm just going to regret it. So I chose the uh, thicker version. This was a dollar fifty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically paint the clear nail polish along the edge of here and let it dry before I put it in the washing machine. Okay, so not so not too difficult. Um, you know, I only had to dip the uh, brush one time. And then uh, I didn't have a lot of control about how much glue went onto the fabric. I just kind of painted it on and there's some areas like here on the edge that are kind of thick where the you know some drops of it kind of globbed on there but this this right there is already starting to dry and so basically I'm just gonna wait 30 minutes let this completely dry and then I'll throw it in the washing machine you know but supposedly this is the exact same thing as seam seal and what it'll do is it just it makes it so that the edge of the sticker, the edge of the patch from Tenacious Tape uh, never peels up so that you can just, you know, you don't have to worry about it. You can throw it in the washing machine and it just makes the patch a lot more durable. And uh, we'll just have to see how um, This is what the, the end result is. This has been patched and glued with the uh, clear nail polish. And... Uh, been through the washing machine and the dryer and this is the end result that's what it looks like okay so now here's a new issue you can see right there at the edge it isn't attached in the washer dryer there's actually a little bit of space in between the patch and the fabric so the fabric has glue on it and the patch has glue on it and there's some spots where you can see right there where it's coming apart it's not glued together over here, where the glue is thicker, it is, it's still stuck together. And basically the, uh, it's just like fabric with, with nail polish on it. And it's kind of stuck together. But over here, there's obviously some space there where it's peeling up. So basically what I would say is that uh, the thicker the uh, nail polish you put on here, the better. And I think I, I might as well just put another thick layer of, of nail polish on here and just leave it on there overnight. Um, but yeah, there's obviously a problem. Okay, so there's the second layer of nail polish. And this time, just basically, I acted like it was my fingernail and I just put a ton of nail polish on there. It was easier to paint it on because it had one layer of thin nail polish on there that was kind of hard. I put the second layer on and it's nice and thick all the way around. Uh, it totally stinks, and I'm just going to let this sit overnight. I'll just check it in the morning, but you get the idea. Basically, the nail polish, it needs to be pretty thick in order for it to be really effective. And there it is.